All right, I'm coming, guys. I'm coming. <laughs> hi, I'm coming. All right. So, hi. I spoke to like four of you. Here, let me uh, make sure my camera's not crooked. Okay, so I heard from like four of you that you wanted to see a haul video. <laughs> so I just thought I would sit down and do it. I got all my bags here. Maybe in the future I can set up in the living room, but that's, I don't have lights in there. <laughs> that's a problem. But first, if I'm gonna do a haul video, I know that's not me staying in my lane for this channel, but I like like connecting with you guys. So if this is how you want to connect, I'm totally good with that. <laughs> okay. So I have to start out with what, what's been going on for like a month and a half. It's just been really busy. This is the time of the year where I try to make sure I get all my health stuff done. And I made sure I was down at my computer at 9am so that I could be with you guys chatting during the premiere. And then I had my annual physical to go to. I love my doctor. I love my doctor so much. She's so cool, kind, knowledgeable. She's like one of the best doctors in town. If you end up getting a sore throat or something, you're not going to see her. You're going to have to see another doctor, <laughs> right? Because she's booked out like months in advance. So whenever I go to her, sorry, ASMR, what? <laughs> Put the bag down. Um, whenever I go and I see her, I feel like I'm hanging out with a friend and I feel like I can just chat with her. She's got a great sense of humor. All the nurses are really cool. They have great senses of humor. The only person, uh, the people at the pharmacy too, they're really awesome as well. But the only person I have a little bit of a problem with is the woman at the lab, okay? <laughs> I don't know what it is about her, but you could walk up with your paperwork and she's sitting like two feet away from you and she'll just pretend like you're not there. She will just be rude to you and just pretend like you don't exist. So this time I saw it was her and I'm like, she's actually really good when she draws the blood. She's the one who does it. So she's the one that kind of checks you in and she does the blood work. So I don't mind putting up with a little bit of her rudeness. If she can get the one and done stick <laughs> and get the blood and we're over it. Yeah, I mean, she's really good. So she, you barely feel it, you know, all that, but she's rude, she's so rude. Anyway, so this time I'm just used to her. So I just stood there waiting, waiting, waiting. And she looks at me, I kid you not, you guys, she, she <laughs> gives me this look, she's like, you have to put your card in the box. Okay, so the box that she's referring to <laughs> is this little, guys, it's like this big, okay? Like, it's just a little cube, and it has a slot in the front, and I wasn't really sure what this thing was supposed to do, and I thought it was going to scan my health insurance card, but I didn't understand what she was talking about, because she said, you just have to put your card in the box. I'm like, what card? What are you talking about? And she's like, your health insurance card. Okay, all you really need to do is ask for my name and you can pull up all my information in the system. That's how this whole insurance company is constructed, right? Like, it's supposed to be one-stop shopping kind of thing. So, I get out my health insurance card. <laughs> Again, I think it's going to scan it. And I feel like a lot of play as I'm sticking it in the slot. And I'm like, am I supposed to stick it all the way in? She goes, yeah, you just stick it all the way in. She's really condescending, right? She acts like a smile would break her face, okay? So I go ahead and I stick it in. It goes down this like little slide in the back and lands in a tray. And then she reaches over and picks it up out of the tray and then starts like logging me in. I was like, that is the most, that is the most useless, stupidest thing I've ever seen. Now, if you're in the medical field and you're like, no, Michelle, this is why they do that. Please explain it to me. I'd be fascinated to know why the heck I had to stick my insurance. She's sitting right there, okay? Why I had to stick it in this little slot to have it go down a little slide and land in a tray. What, <laughs> what is going on? Anyway, after that, I went up to First in Maine here in Colorado Springs, and I went to Bar Louie for lunch, and I love that place, but every time I'm in there for lunchtime, there's nobody else in there. <laughs> like even the waiter was like, this was a terrible shift, you know, whatever. Um, and I ended up getting the Impossible Burger there. I highly recommend if you're gonna go to Bar Louie at First in Maine in Colorado Springs, get the Impossible Burger. It is so delicious. It was so, so, so good. So after lunch, I went up to Alta, and this is where we begin our haul. All right, so I just really wanted to, Here's my big bag. I kind of was just walking around, just seeing what I could see, <laughs> right? Just doing my thing. And I went in, and one of the things that I really wanted, I bought a, a Morphe, sorry for the noise. 
ASMR. She's a star. It's going to be in the frame. So I needed a makeup setting spray and they were, the Ulta near me, they were out of this Jeffree Star collab. Now I went ahead and bought the regular Morphe. The mist is so fine on it. I'm really impressed with the Morphe one and then this one, again the collab with Morphe and Jeffree Star, this one smells, let me see if I can get it to focus, this one smells like strawberries and again the mist is really really fine. I don't know if you'll see that. But the smell, okay, so the smell is strawberry. <laughs> so here's the cap, let's see again if I can, ooh, hi, okay, whoops. I don't know if you can see that, if that's going to focus. But anyway, it's strawberry, and it doesn't smell like regular strawberry. If you're about my age, or maybe slightly younger, slightly older, do you guys remember strawberry shortcake? Okay, do you remember the dolls from like the late 80s going into the early 90s where you could press on her belly and she would blow a kiss in your face and it would smell like strawberries? That's what this smells like. <laughs> I actually, I have this little thing with my sister who's a year younger than me. Um, Anything that's kind of nostalgic, which I'll show you here in just a second. Anything that's kind of nostalgic, we usually pick it up for one another. So I might buy her one of these uh, setting sprays. This was, let me get the receipt out. Hold on. Hold on. It's in here somewhere. I know it is. Oh, there it is. So I believe this was $18. Why is this bag not cooperating? What's up? Okay. Um, boop, 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 Okay, so it was $18 for this makeup setting spray. I believe the Morphe one that I bought a couple of days ago was only $16. I know what some of you might say, because I know a lot of my followers, you're not maybe into makeup, or maybe you are. If you are, comment down below. But I don't mind spending that, because this will last me months, okay? And when I'm sitting here, I've got these lamps here. They get a little hot you know, it will melt your makeup off, right? And plus, I don't like wearing a whole lot of makeup. I don't, I mean, I have a lot of it. I like doing my makeup every once in a while, but my skin is so sensitive. So when I do Vlogmas, okay, um, you're probably gonna see quite a few shots of me with no makeup on because I just need to let my skin recover. So, you know, something like that kind of setting spray will last a very long time for me. Now, I need to say, if any of my family members are watching this, you have to click off this video right now because I just, just by chance, came across some stocking stuffers. I know it's only October, but whatever. I wanted to pick it up while I was thinking of it, right? All right, so the first thing <laughs> that I found here, let me see if I can find a better, nope, I don't have a better spot. It's just gonna have to go on the floor. So. Again, with my sister, whenever I find something kind of retro-y or reminds me of what we used to get as kids, I try to pick it up for her. And this is the Lip Smacker Best Flavor Forever. <laughs> These are three lip balms. It was $5.50 and let's see what the flavors are. The flavors are on this side, hi. Um, Bubble Gum Drop, Santa Strawberry, and Holiday Punch. I just think that is the cutest thing. We used to get these in our stockings and sometimes they would be the Avon brand. We typically got Avon, um, you know, lip balms and things like that. Or we would get one of these and it had candy in it. So it was like this cute pink color. It was $5.50, I had to, you know what I mean? All right, let me dip back into the bag here. Let me just set it on my lap. Let's just be real casual with one another here. So the next thing that I got, let me get it out. I've been sending my sister a lot of makeup and she's been getting more and more into it. So I didn't wanna like overwhelm her with brushes, like a whole brush set, and then maybe there's some brushes in there that don't make sense or she's not gonna use them. So I just got her two Morphe brushes here. One is for packing, you know, eyeshadow on the lid. The other one is a blending brush for the crease and you can buff out your look with this. I figured these are two good brushes to start with. You know, that's what you need. I don't know what other people do. Maybe people are fancier than me, but these are the two that I use and that's it. So, okay, so one, the fluffy blending crease brush is M. 330 by Morphe and the oval shadow brush is M167. The cost on these, um, the oval shadow brush to so the packing brush, <laughs> this one, <laughs> this one is $6 and then the other crease brush was seven. 
Okay, so those will go together with the lip balms. And I'm gonna do some other things for her, maybe just like little stocking stuff or kind of thing. Did I tell you guys? Uh, sorry, this is uh, back on the setting spray. This is 2.8 ounces uh, for $18 or 79.4 grams. Okay, in case you were wondering about that. So the next thing I got <laughs> was this little, again, it's a Lip Smackers Crayola lip balm set. Now, my little nephew Zayden, every time I have a lip balm and I'm putting it on, he always wants me to put some on for him. And he has the family genes, so like, his little lips get all chapped and everything. So I thought this, and he just started school too. He just started preschool, and he's really into his little school supplies. So I thought this was the cutest thing ever. It's $5.50. You get four lip balms. Um, is there a net weight? I don't think, I don't see where there is. I don't see where there is. What? Oh. 0.56 ounces, so four pieces. And the flavors are Razzmatazz, Banana Mania, Blueberry Blue, and Granny Smith Apple. I don't know how he's going to do with the Granny Smith Apple, but Aunt Michelle could take it, right? <laughs> What's the big deal? All right, and again, that was $5.50. So, I was up towards the front, and I've never used these, but they had these bath melts in birthday cake. Um... And it says, break, melt, soak. Fill your tub with warm water. Break apart four to five squares. Drop into bathtub and relax in luscious fragrances, butters, and our natural eight oil blend for an ultra moisturizing experience. So it says, according to the little price tag, this is in the clearance bin, um, they're normally $10 each. These were on sale for $2.50 each. So there's that. I will probably pass one on to my sister or a couple on to my sister. And I'm going to try some myself. But I just thought that was cute. And I saw these around. I just, I don't know. I always kind of went with the bath bombs. <laughs> so that'll be interesting to try that out. Then this was a little bit of a treat for myself today. I bought the Truly Flower Child Anti-Aging CBD Cream. So this is CBD infused. And this brand is vegan. Check this out. They put vegan, fresh, clean. That, that's not like an official... <laughs> Those aren't official terms, like like vegan is kind of official. Uh, Gluten-free, cruelty-free, non-GMO, paraben-free. Um, yeah, it's just got all kinds of healing oils in it, plus CBD oil. Um, and I actually tried a little of this on the back of my hand, and even after washing my hands, it's still there. It's still there and like hanging in there. It's super soft. Um, the scent, I don't... Here, I can open this. Jeez. <laughs> okay, uh, here we go. So, here's what it looks like in in the box as I'm dropping everything. So, I don't again, I don't know if things are going to focus, but we'll see. Um this is 1.8 ounces, 55 milliliters, and I believe, let me look at the price on this one. Truly face cream with CBD was $35. Um but again, I, like, this will last me a while. This definitely, so it has a little thing. Ooh. Okay, I'm dropping things. <laughs> anyway. Oh, my God. Okay, so it's, like, really slippery. It hardly has any scent whatsoever. And now that I've dropped it on the side here, let's just take a little bit and put it on the back of my hand so nothing goes to waste. Uh, you know, yeah, so I think it really is a little bit goes a long way and I really think that this is going to oh, It feels great. Oh my gosh, it like literally just like I have very dry Let's call them textured hands right now and it just completely smoothed out the back of my hand there So that's really nice. So I can report back if you guys want to leave a comment down below and just be like Hey Michelle, how'd that cream work out for you? after I've used it for a little while so there is that. Just shove that back in there. What was the other thing I got? Oh. <laughs> so this is by ColourPop. I have a couple of ColourPop liquid lipsticks, but I just saw this one. And this one is, it's the Lux Give Me Some Lip. Lux Lipstick in Lucky Strike Velvet Blur. So that's what the box looks like. And this was $7.50, I believe. 
Let's see. Um, yeah, $7.50. So let's open this bad boy up from the bottom so I don't have to deal with tearing labels off. Ooh. Oh, it's cute. It's got like, it's like rose gold and it has like stars all over it. I don't know if you can see the little stars, but I'll try to get, get some angles there for you. Okay, this does not look like this to me. Am I crazy? <laughs> Those don't look like the same colors. All right, well, let's swatch it. I mean, oh, it goes on. It's nice coverage. And it's got stars all in, printed in the lipstick, too. That's really cute. Again, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. So that's how it swatched. So, yeah, that one, once it swatched, what did I do with the box? Oh my god, I'm so disoriented. What, seriously, what did I do with the box? <laughs> I threw it. Okay, so yeah, I guess now that kind of does match-ish-esque. I guess if I turned my hand to show you the swatch, that would be even better. So I don't know, I'm not mad at this purchase, <laughs> but it's like a rosy pink color, and I'm excited to try it out. It does feel, I mean, it, it does, it's not... How, how do people do this? I'm not a makeup guru. Never wanted to be. Thank you. Um, <laughs> you know, you can smudge it, definitely. Uh, so I think it's just supposed to have, like, not maybe like a complete matte, but sort of like a velvet, like I said, a velvet, velvet finish. So eh. then I went over to Cost Plus World Market, and this is where I did probably almost uh, about the same damage that I did over at Ulta. So first and foremost, we have this Kinder Happy Hippo Cacao candy thing that is open because I already ate one. <laughs> These are delicious. I love Kinder. And it's basically, I don't know, it looks like German on the back or something. Uh, so I couldn't tell you what it is, but it's good. Okay, it's delicious. But look how cute that little hippo is. Uh, like I just, he's so cute, I just can't. Okay, but don't be alarmed that I already dug into this one because I bought my nephew a whole box of them that will also I will take home to him so there's that then I hit up <laughs> this is so funny because oh not funny okay this is so funny because I just went in there just you know just to kind of like window shop kind of thing and I ended up <laughs> stocking up on a bunch of bath supplies now I'm an Ohio girl like I grew up in northern Ohio and when winter comes you know I just I think that's just kind of gotten ingrained in me to make sure you have everything on hand so you're not one of those fools having to run to Walmart <laughs> when the first snowflakes are flying you know whatever so when I start seeing the snows falling which we've gotten a little bit of snow here already in Colorado Springs I stock up on things so one of the first things that I did was I went and I saw these bath fizzies these uh, bath bombs so this one is rose petal this is by it's gold so let me Addison and Gates Rose Petal Bath Fizzers with Essential Oils. So these are 3.5 ounces, and you get two of those for $6.99. So again, this is the rose one. I have a lavender one. So they're slightly smaller than like some bath bombs, like a Lush bath bomb, for example. But one Lush bomb is $7.50. So these are only slightly smaller. You're getting two of them, which I don't hate. I'm like a little kid. I just like to sit in the bath and watch it just a hope in my hand. Anybody with me? Um, I actually buy usually the uh, the ones that are called the bomb, uh, and they have a little something in the middle. There, it was I think it was done by teens, and so what I've seen a lot of people get out of those bath bombs are like little plastic toys, which would annoy me if I got one of those. I got the Lotus one, and there was a makeup sponge in it. So if you are at Ulta, pick up the Lotus one. You'll get a little. It's not a full size like beauty blender sized. Uh, sponge it's in between the mini and the large one or the original size one so anyway here is the lavender one these both smell exactly how you might expect they smell amazing and you know in the colder months I like to take nice hot baths because for whatever reason it gets freezing cold in my apartment I have the heat on I have <laughs> two comforters on my bed I have my fireplace and it's still always freezing in here. I don't even know. I live in flannel in the winter. I mean, no joke. All right, so the other thing that I picked up, this was interesting because this, again, kind of had like this nostalgic feeling. I, it just seems like something I would have seen 
like in in like my aunt's bathroom or my grandma's bathroom or something like that. Now roses are high frequency, so I love that. And these are also really, really pretty. These are Body Luxury Scented Soap Petals Moroccan Rose, and they had other scents there as well. And this is uh, two point, I, I guess 2.11 ounces, 60 grams. Is that right? Yeah, 60 grams, uh, $7.99. And it says, these beautiful petals are hand-dipped in glycerin, soap, and fragranced. Use one petal at a time, perfect for a quick hand wash or luxurious bath. Also looks decorative in your bathroom or on a soap dish. Wait, what? <laughs> so, what? I thought it was soap that was in the shape of rose petals. Are they actual petals that are just coated? That, okay. What, it's pretty. They're pretty. And they will look really pretty in my bathroom. So, there is that. What can I show you next? So here's another little thing. Some of these things as I got home, I'm like, why did I pay that much for these, <laughs> these things? This is an apple and pear soap. Uh, this was $3.99. It has a sloth on it. And this is another thing that's gonna go in Zayden's uh, stocking. So just a cute little soap for bath time. And then speaking of soap, Again, if my family members are watching this, click off, okay? <laughs> I picked up this cute little bar of soap. Again, just stocking stuffers. This one's for my mom. Uh, lavender vanilla scented soap. This smells so good. Even if you're not a lavender person and you're not a vanilla person, this just feels like, mm, I don't know, like a little bit like Susie Homemaker, cozy. She knows how to make her home a sanctuary. She ain't messing around. <laughs> like, like everything's just pretty and in place. I mean, that's what it, it reminds me of. So this was $5.99, which I think is crazy for a bar of soap. But it's 6.8 ounces, 195 grams. Going back to this one, did I tell you what this one is? Oh, right in front of my face. This little sloth one is 3.5 3 ounces, 100 grams. It smells... <laughs> like pear and apple. I don't know. It smells fruity. So there's that. This is really lovely. That's going to go in my mom's stocking. And then for my dad, I got him the man bar. <laughs> this one was also pricey. It's $6.99 um, for 10 ounces. Now actually $6.99 for 10 ounces. I don't think that's the worst. Okay. They did have other fragrances there in both these kinds of soaps. Okay. This one, th first of all, it has like a clean man scent. <laughs> it's a uh, silver sage uh, and bergamot fragrance. So bergamot is very calming and very soothing. And they had one there that smelled like Old Spice, which my dad likes Old Spice. Um, but he also, there's, you know what this reminds me of? Have you guys ever smelled like the Adidas? I think it's Adidas, like aftershave. That's kind of what it smells like. And my dad likes that as well. So, you know. This is, I'm just going to take it out. <laughs> it's a pretty big bar of soap. So that's cute. And it comes in a cute box as well. And it smells delicious. So again, the man bar. Yes. <laughs> All right. So what else is in here? Okay. So then I got these, these are hot, cold, uh, gel eye mask, which is weird because heat for relaxation, chill for inflammation. And then it says, do not microwave. So what, how do you make them hot? <laughs> anyway, these were $3.99 each. Um, I'm going to keep one and give one to my sister. There's avocados and then donuts. <laughs> like, again, my whole thing is, is like, like back on the soaps for just a minute. If like, if my mom opens this and it makes her super happy and makes her feel luxurious and whatever, so worth it. <laughs> I mean, so, so, so worth it. And same thing for my dad, you know, like if he opens this and he really enjoys it, that's cool. And if this makes my sister laugh and we like send photos back and forth to each other of like <laughs> the eye masks, you know, there you go. All right. So then there was only, I know you guys are going to be like, God, it's not even like Halloween yet. You're already doing Christmas. I am. In fact, yes. I didn't mean to. It's just, there was only two of these left. My mom is crazy about Santa Claus. Okay. <laughs> she loves Santa Claus. And these are filled. These are little tins that are filled with chocolates these were $8.99 each and there's only like four point yeah 4.3 ounces 123 grams of chocolate in here 
which, you know, you might be saying, hey, Michelle, that's a little pricey. But again, this is like one of those things that I think when my mom pulls it out, she's going to get a kick out of it. She's going to think it's really cute. She's going to understand. I also bought one for my grandfather. He is in his 80s. At one time, oh, <laughs> at one time he was a real train enthusiast. So I think, and, and you know, it's kind of like an old fashioned looking um, Santa. So it's the same one as the other one, but I just thought he would like that as well. So we can, you know, at least get started on a little something for him as well. To add to my dad's stocking, I got some cocoa mix. Um, this was $5.99. Again, I'm like, you know, again, I'm like a girl that grew up <laughs> like going to Walmart. We used to have a place called um, Hills in Finley, Ohio. I'm from Tiffin, Ohio, but we had a place called Hills in uh, Finley, Ohio, and it was a big deal for us to go there every year and go shopping for our school clothes. And I loved it. It was like just rack. It was almost like a Kmart, but it was so fun. And they always had a food section in the front where you can get popcorn and drinks and slushies and whatever. And they're not there anymore, whatever. All right. <laughs> so anyway, I, the whole point of telling you that is, you know, I grew up being like, you know, money. We grew up in that kind of mentality of money doesn't grow on trees. You have to be careful with your money, uh, which I know is not great for manifesting. But <laughs> anyway, this is a cocoa mix. And I got him the peppermint one. I hope he likes it. Um, I know he likes mint chocolate, but so peppermint chocolate, maybe. And I usually make homemade marshmallows. So I will make sure I make him some marshmallows to go with his cocoa and his man soap, all right? <laughs> for my father also, I look out for Sasquatch stuff so that will go in his stocking if I find anything but there is the cocoa again $5.99 for that it feels very very heavy so I think he'll get quite a few servings out of that then this is kind of funny <laughs> I bought I bought hot sauce okay why because the dump king supers near me sorry king supers but hey um they stopped carrying it or they have it somewhere else I don't even know what they've done but anyway <laughs> I got the big bottle Henny all right where, uh was there a receipt somewhere oh dear if you guys saw my desk it's horrendous oh here it is cool so did I tell you how much the kinder happy hippos were they were $4.49 each hot sauce was $1.99 which is a bargain because this sucker is 10 fluid ounces 296 milligrams I'm running out of space of where to put things let's put you ooh, by my lamp no you're gonna block my light I need that light okay what the heck else did I even get myself into I think we're nearing the end um so oh yeah I want to talk about this so this gigantic thing of body wash is apple cider vinegar uh that is coconut oil essential oil detoxifying and clarifying and it's supposed to be honey almond okay so i bought this what was it lucy 10 used to have this it was like from like i don't even know like the early 2000s they had this perfume line that was all honey scented now i think it's guerlain mon they have a similar that has a similar kind of sweet smell to it but and also don't they now does Lucy 10 now have the almond body or almond honey body wash or something? Anyway, I thought that's what this was going to be. I just need to get bolder about standing in the store and doing this and going, it made a weird noise when I opened it because this does not smell like honey almond at all. I'm not complaining. This is a gigantic thing of body wash. It has a slight fragrance to it that is very pleasant, very clean. I, I, I wouldn't call it honey almond. Uh, no, <laughs> it's not the end of the world. I mean, it's an apple cider vinegar body wash. It won't compete with my with my perfumes. And this big bottle was seven ninety nine for thirty two fluid ounces, which is nine hundred forty six milliliters. So there is this big thing that I had to carry out <laughs> and carry all around. So there is that. Along that same line. Oh, and then we're done. This is the last product. Okay, cool. I thought this was going to have that, that sort of very sweet honey smell as well. I love these bottles. They have this whole, like, I don't know, country apothecary look about it. And I, I just love it. Or country chic, however you want to see that. So this is Nature's Essentials Skincare Honey and Almond Super Hand Lotion, which I'm going to use this as a body lotion. Could 
could you imagine like how long it would take to go through all of that if it was just a hand lotion? So it's a super, a super blend. Oh, it's super, a super blend of coconut oil, avocado oil, and sweet almond oil to hydrate and nourish skin. Uh, Home and Body Company, 16 fluid ounces, 473 milliliters, and this was $9.99. And again, this has kind of a clean smell. This has a little more fragrance than the body wash, but I don't know. It's like, it smells like anything that you would get in like a restaurant. You know, when you go to a restaurant, like it's not food. <laughs> I mean, when you go to like a restaurant into the restroom or like a public place and you smell the, the soap, like think higher end restaurants, like the nice, I don't know, this is not making any sense whatsoever. Um, <laughs> So I'm not talking like public park soap. I'm talking about like a nice restaurant, right? Does this have sparkle in it? Wait, <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, I don't know if that's my imagination or if it has sparkle. Huh. Anyway. Okay. Anyway, that's the damage that I did. <laughs> um yeah but you know hey i've got a little jump start on christmas and i'm well stocked well stocked i can sit in my beautiful little bath with these weird rose petals where'd the rose petals go oh, they're right here <laughs> with a petal that you put in the bathtub again what I, why did i buy these <laughs> you can't really smell them i'm just hoping for the best but anyway nice cup of tea and i am set for winter so there's my haul video guys <laughs> if you like these please make sure that you give me a thumbs up that tells me that you want to see more do not thumbs it down i'll get the hint if nobody likes it okay or use it for that matter uh, if you want to see more hauls or you want to see me review stuff which i'm great at that i'm really great at giving my opinion on things so if that doesn't feel like you want that for this channel you know just sound off down below let me know i'm sending you so much love and take care Oh my god, there's too much crap around here. Oh, I'm gonna eat one of these hippos again. So cute. So cute. Look how cute. Just so cute. I thought it's so cute. Oh my god, this is most too much crap. Hot sauce. CBD. <laughs>